What's up outdoorsman, Greg here, and today we're talking about e-bikes. I have been using uh, e-bikes now for two seasons, and I've, I've waited to give my review until I had a lot of good input, and finally I do. I just spent a week in Missouri hunting every day on an e-bike. I covered probably 100 miles on, on this bike and it is just a total game changer. Now, if you're looking at hunting an area, uh, whether in your home state or out of state, you need to make sure of the legalities of the e-bikes. Now, on a federal level, any motor that is 750 watts or less is considered a pedal bicycle. It's not considered a motorized vehicle. However, the states have the right and the ability to change that federal statute. They can call anything they want a motorized vehicle. So you need to check in your state and on your piece of property that you're hunting about the legality. But I chose these particular bikes because they're 750 watts, uh, 750 watt motors. These are hub drive motors and these bikes are not marketed towards hunters. There are several hunting companies that make e-bikes that are a little bit beefier, a little bit stronger. They're marketed towards hunters and they're also about double the price. Uh, this is a Juiced Rip Current S. This is the bike that I use. And this is a Rad Power Bikes Rad Rover. Again, both of these are hub drive motors. They have 750 watt hub drive motors. And they did awesome. I outfitted them both with rack and with those uh, saddlebags or panniers, whatever you want to call them. They have headlights. They have cell phone holders. I put locks on each of them so they can, I can lock them up to a tree when I'm, when I'm there. These bikes did so incredibly awesome. I am a huge fan. We were able to access stuff that nobody else was hunting. They're quiet. They don't, uh, they don't smell, there's no, uh, there's no gasoline, so you're not getting your clothes all smelled up. It's just, there's no exhaust. There's really no downside to these things except the cost. They're not terribly cheap. Uh, I think I paid about 1,500 bucks for this Rad Rover uh, at Black Friday 2018. And then I paid a little bit more than that. I think I paid about 2,200 for this Juiced Rip Current S same deal black friday deal i love these bikes there's literally no downsides they're quiet they're fast they get you to places nobody else is going you don't get all sweaty walking up they handle hills fine now if you go with a, a a bike that's marketed more towards hunters most likely you're going to get a mid-drive motor which the mid-drive motor goes right here where your pedals are and it's a big pumpkin looking deal as opposed to my hub drive motor which i don't know if you can see it right here but it's, it's on the, the rear hub of the bike. These are also fat tire bikes. So these are four inch bike tires. They handle anything. You can ride through timber, you can ride through water. They are great all-terrain bikes. Again, I can't say enough good things about these bikes. They handled everything we threw at them in the, in the hills in Missouri. Uh, there were a few times where I had to pedal if it was a really steep hill but I still made it to the top, no issues. The battery life is great. I love these bikes. If you're looking at getting an e-bike, I think the, the bikes that are marketed more towards hunters, they're, they're a little bit more powerful. You may get a few more features, but you're gonna pay for it. So look at some of these other brands like Rad and like Juiced, and there are a few other ones. Look at some of those. If you wanna save a little bit of cash, you can do that, and you'll still have a totally functional bike. I cannot say enough good things about the bikes. I love them, love them, love them. Everybody should go out and buy an e-bike. Plus, they're just a ton of fun. And when you're saddle hunting, man, now I throw my pack in this bag, I throw my bow in this bag, and I have my saddle around my waist, no bulk, easy to get in, no weight, uh, and even uh, we killed four or five bucks there in Missouri, and my buddy Carl, he has a trailer for his Rambo bike and we loaded up every single deer on the trailer and he hauled the deer out on the bike. It was amazing. A couple of them we killed, we were three miles away from the nearest uh, parking lot access point. So it would have been a terrible drag out, but with these bikes, it made short work of everything. So go out, get yourself an e-bike. You're gonna love it. 